This video will run through the basics of the Trailers tab, more specifically the Trailers list, creating a trailer, and manual bindings of a trailer to a vehicle. Trailers are unpowered auxiliary units that do not have a tracking device installed and are attached to or towed by a vehicle that is fitted with a tracking device. The tracking platform provides the possibility to create and manage the list of trailers. With just one click of a mouse, you can assign a trailer to a unit or vehicle. To start working with trailers, click on its heading in the top panel. There are two modes you can work with, trailers or groups. Select trailers. The first icon you will see is the display trailers on the map icon. If you can click on this checkbox, it will select all trailers in the list. Alternatively, you can select the checkbox next to an individual trailer. The next icon is the sort icon. This will list the trailers in alphabetical order. To quickly find a trailer, use the drop down menu to select a filter or type a keyword in the search box. At the top of the list, you will see five icons. Click the binding chain icon to bind a trailer to a unit. Click the clock icon to register working interval. Click the spanner icon to view or edit trailer properties. Click the copy icon to copy a trailer. Click the red X icon to delete a trailer. To create a trailer, click on the new button at the top of the work list. Enter the trailer's name. To quickly identify your trailer, attach a photo from your stored images. Since this is a basic setup, you don't need to enter a code. In the description box, you can give a short description of the trailer. In the custom fields, you can add further information. For example, year, color and capacity. When you have completed these fields, click OK and the new trailer will appear in the trailers list. To display the trailer on the map, click the checkbox to the left of the trailer name. If you hover over the trailer name or trailer icon, you will see the custom fields that you've just created. To manually bind a trailer to a vehicle, Click on the binding chain icon and select the unit that you want to assign your trailer to. You will see that the unit icon replaces the binding chain icon. If you hover over the unit icon, you will see more details about the unit. You will also notice that the unit icon turns into a red breaking chain icon. If you click on this, you can remove the binding. If you forget to manually bind a trailer to a unit, you can use the register work interval icon. Click on this icon to view historical bindings and use it to manually enter a shift. Select the date and time interval and click show. Click register shift and select the unit that the trailer was bound to at the time. Click the shift beginning checkbox and select the shift start time and date. For a completed shift, Click the shift end checkbox and select the shift end time and date. Click OK in the shift registration and manual binding windows to ensure all information is saved. If you need to go back and edit anything about one of your trailers, then simply click on the trailer property spanner icon. If you have another trailer that shares similar properties, you can clone it by simply clicking the copy trailer icon. If a trailer no longer exists, or if you accidentally copy one too many times, you can click the red X icon to delete it. Now you will be able to create and manage your list of trailers and you should feel confident using the trailers tab. Check out our knowledge base at any time if you would like to learn more.